Here's problem 2511. A four microcomb charge is placed on the x axis at x equal plus three, and a minus two microcomb charge is located on the y axis at y equal minus one meters. Point A is on the y axis at y equal four. Determine the electric potential at point A relative to zero at the origin. Here's a key thing, this relative to zero at the origin. What does that mean? Well, we're going to have to make the origin zero and then the potential at point A respective to that. So we're going to have to find the potential at point A and the potential B uh, at the origin. So let's figure out how this goes. All right, so we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we got, uh, let's just go down this way and this way. All right, so we have a potential or we have a charge, four microcoulombs at x equal plus three, right here, positive ch charge, so let's call that Q1, four microcoulombs, and then we have a negative charge at y equal minus one, and that charge, call it Q2, is a negative two microcoulombs, and we want to find the potential at y equal four, on the y-axis here. Let's call that point A. Let's call the origin point B. So we want to find the potential at these two points. We're going to use the principle of superposition and we'll say that uh, the potential at A is equal to KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. These are scalars that we're adding together point charges are uh, each contributing to that point A. And we're going to have to know what R1 is. Now if we look at this triangle, we have ourselves a uh, 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the distance of Q1 from point A is going to be 5 meters. And for that matter, the distance of Q2 from A is also going to be 5 meters because we're strictly 5 meters away along the y-axis there. So this is going to be equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 times Q1, which is 4 microcoulombs, divided by 5 meters, plus Q2, which is minus 2 microcoulombs, divided by 5 meters. If I calculate this out, what am I going to get? Let's see. I get 3600 volts. I can never make a 6 on there. So that is the potential at point A. What about uh, the origin, point B? Potential at B is equal to KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. And this would be 9 times 10 to the 9 for K times Q1, which is 4 microcoulombs, 4 times 10 to the minus 6, over its distance from the origin, which is strictly 3 meters, uh, plus K2, or uh, Q2, which is minus 2 microcoulombs, over its distance from the origin, which is 1. And we don't use a negative one because we're strictly a pure distance of one away from the origin. All right, so what does this turn out to be? All right, four microcoulombs divided by three minus two microcoulombs divided by one. All this times nine to the nine. I get a negative 6,000 volts. That's the potential at B, the origin. But we want to find the potential at A relative to zero at the origin. So we want to make the origin zero. So basically, we want to find VA minus VB, which is going to be 3,600 minus a negative 6,000, which will give us 
9600 volts. In other words, if we made the origin zero, we would have to add 6,000 volts everywhere, and that would make point A uh, 6,000 volts higher, and hence the potential difference between A and B is 9,600 volts, and that's the electric potential at point A relative to zero at the origin. Uh, 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 uh.